Hi everyone, so this is going to be an updates video, uh, but it's definitely pertinent information that I want to get out to you guys. It's in the title, so, and if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, this is none of this is news to you. So uh, let's go ahead and cover the makeup stuff first. I am sad to report the news that Estee Lauder Double Wear Formula, the new one, is different. So uh, for those of you who have contacted me, emailed me, I've just been bombarded with a lot of questions all saying the same thing. Nur, the formula is different. And when I initially made the video, I made the video based on uh, having asked the woman at the sales counter if the formula was different and took her word for it and they said no. And actually numerous women or actually a couple of guys too have also said that the formula is not different. Fine. But through my personal experience and hearing from all of you guys, there's clearly a difference in the formula. And at first I thought maybe it was in the change of colors because I was I had tested Honey Bronze and not my Shell Beige. So I went and I got a sample of Shell Beige. No, it was different. So I did the nerdiest thing that I could think of and uh, I found an old box of Estee Lauder Double Wear. I took a picture of that and I went to the Macy's counter and I took a picture of the new Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, and the ingredients list on the back of that. And lo and behold, they're different. I'm not happy about this. So they are different. You're not imagining it. Uh, whatever we're, we've been hearing, I personally when this, when I started to hear these things, especially from you guys, I had never bought a full bottle of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I was trying to just kind of work through everything. I took a couple of samples of me to Gainesville and I did really like them. And, uh, but I was still wearing it with Cinema Secrets. I wasn't wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear on its own, seeing like, is it the same animal? So I, I had at one point written corporate, to which I replied, but look at your own like review boards on estelauder.com. And then I was like sent an 800 number that I was supposed to call that they could explain to me how it was the same. Well, it's clearly not the same if we're looking at the ingredients list. Also, uh, a lot of people think that the SPF was taken out of it and that changed the formula. The truth of the matter is though, that it does still have an SPF because if you look at the back of the ingredients box, it still lists titanium dioxide, which is used as an SPF. It's just now we don't know what the SPF is. There's, they can't put it on the front of the bottle because the FDA changed the regulation saying that the SPF must be 15 or higher in order to be advertised on a product like Estee Lauder Double Wear. So that's the change in the SPF. If you wanna see an up close of the ingredients list that I took a picture of and my little blurb, uh, it's on Instagram. If you have Instagram or Twitter, you guys have already seen this. You can click the Instagram picture even if you don't have Instagram. So yeah, it is different. There is a different ingredient. And if you Google the ingredient, uh, that ingredient actually has been shown to irritate people's skin, which I feel reluctant to even have said that in my Instagram post and to say it in a video because it really is case by case. Everyone's skin is different. Some people react to uh, silicones and there's a lot of them in Estee Lauder Double Wear and a lot of makeup in general and some people don't. So um, it really is going to depend on how your skin reacts to it. Um, what I will say is it's it's up to you to try it to see if you like the new formula. For me, it's a lot thinner. The longevity is not near as much as the Estee Lauder Double Wear original uh, formula. I used to be able to, and I don't promote this, but be able to fall asleep and my makeup would be look like perfect. Now, if I wear it in the beginning of a workday, by the end of the workday, it doesn't look the same. It's not, it's not that it's completely gone or as bad as like a, a light or a sheer coverage. It just isn't what I have as a standard now for Estee Lauder Double Wear. So uh, I tagged Estee Lauder in the Instagram and, and therefore tagged them in the Twitter. Uh, I don't know if they just don't want to address it. Um, I, clearly they're not addressing the reviews on their website. I. I don't know. I don't know if I should reach out to them again and be like, hey, like there's here's a real issue. And if you're a company that cares about your customers, pay attention because this is a very popular foundation. It's one that I've personally used for over 10 years. Uh, but I don't know. You guys let me know. Or if you guys want to reach out to them and see maybe if we can collectively get a response if there is um, power in numbers. So there it is. The irrefutable proof, the geekiest way to figure it out, to look at the ingredients list. The ingredients 
are there is a difference in them so it's not monumental but yeah changing one or two ingredients is going to make a difference so you're not crazy i'm not crazy uh but we're both now sad because i love that foundation and i'm not happy about the change however on a happier note i am going to new york imax uh, this year which i'm really excited about i'm going april 6th and 7th and um unfortunately saturday tickets are sold out and being a complete novice, being my first IMAX, I didn't buy tickets, but I did just buy the Sunday tickets. So I'll definitely be there on Sunday. If somebody has an extra ticket for Saturday, I'm more than happy to buy it off of you. Um, if, if it changes, I'll let you know. Best way to find out is to follow me like on my instant social media. And so like Instagram, Twitter, I'll let you guys know where I'm going, when I'm going, when I'm gonna be there. Uh, so come up and say hi. I would love to, if you're going to be there, do something afterwards or get lunch together or do something that makes it seem not like I'm a guru and you watch me like we're on the same level I'm normal wait till you see me in person I am normal but uh, I'm really excited about that and I was going to try to go to playlist live this weekend in Orlando but that sold out too can you guys tell that I never ever do these things so I'm not like prepared like I don't think ahead of time it's almost always a last minute decision or I just don't anticipate these things selling out so don't prepare. If I can get tickets to Playlist Live, I will be there in Orlando. Again, I'll tell you guys on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, and then if I can get tickets to Saturday IMAX, I will also be there on Saturday. And uh, I can't wait to, if you're going, tell me or tweet me, let me know. Um, I can't wait to see everybody. I've, I, I've run into like a couple of viewers out in public where people like have stopped me and stuff, but uh, not, I mean, I live in like obscure Tampa, Florida, but I, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you to like give faces to the names that comment and watch me. And I don't know, it's, it makes it all real because right now I have one, two lights and a camera. No, uh, that's it. I love you guys so much. And, uh, I've been, oh, I guess I should update you on where I've been. I was sick two weekends ago and last weekend I was at South by Southwest for uh, a friend who launched an app. So I went to do like, help him launch the app. It was a lot of work, but it was very neat to see the inside out experience. So that's where I have been. Uh, what have you guys been up to? I'm excited. I'm excited for what the next few weeks and what's to come. So um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but I'm going to New York a week early and doing so much fun stuff. Derm TV saw me tweet that I'm going to be in New York and they actually asked me to come into the office. So I'm so excited about that. I hope I get to meet Dr. Schultz. I'll try to vlog and if I get any treatments done or get any consultations for anything, I'll be sure to catch that on camera. Also, Game of Thrones is doing an exhibition that's going to a couple of cities and it's going to be in New York while I'm in New York. Admission is free and if you are a huge Game of Thrones fan like me, uh, check the website below to see if they're going to be in a city near you. Lastly, I'm going to make some time to experience Sleep No More while I'm in NYC. Found out about it from Jill Striff when she did a video about a year ago and I'm really excited. I hear it's a lot like a haunted house, but it's supposed to be superb and something I definitely don't want to miss. I will link Jill's video below if you want to check it out. So if you have any recommendations for things that I need to see while I'm in the big city, please share them with me. Uh, I especially love food, so food ideas are very welcome. No, seriously, thank you guys. I am looking forward to seeing those that will be there, and uh, thank you for everything. I love you. Summer nights are